Xavi Alonso is rapidly gaining popularity as a coach. His team plays highly entertaining football and currently holds the joint most goals in the Bundesliga with the second most touches in the opposition penalty area. They prioritize attack and play. Additionally, they have played the most passes with the second best passing completion, which comes as no surprise given Alonso's background as a player. However, what else is causing all this buzz around Xavi Alonso? Leverkusen under Xavi Alonso adopts a back two strategy for build up. The wing backs remain wide while Palacios this season moves out wide to the left to provide a passing angle alongside Granite Xhaka, who holds his central position. The right side of central defender would then move up to the right side of Xhaka, and this creates a 2 plus 3 shape in the central area, allowing Leverkusen to have a numerical advantage and progress through central areas efficiently. The right side of centre back pushing forward in possession allows Fringpon to attack the defence line and release defensive responsibility. And Palacios is one reason why you shouldn't be taking starting lineups on paper too seriously. Though he begins as a right sided defence midfielder, he drifts to Shaka's left as we see all the time. As Leverkusen move forward, they maintain a higher number of players in midfield. They create a flexible box that moves around to find open spaces between the opposing line. It can be challenging for the opposing team to keep track of them and if Leverkusen lose possession of the ball, their nearby teammates can quickly apply pressure to regain possession. Leverkusen's possession game is versatile. They use quick passing combinations and counter movements to break through the opposition's block. Alternatively, they can be patient with the ball, inviting pressure and waiting for opportunities to send runners behind the defensive line. Now, breaking down Leverkusen's counter movements, they do this by having one player drop deep to receive the ball and draw out a defender from their position. Then, they use quick combinations to release another player who can make a forward run into the space created by the defender being drawn. In the final phase of chance creation, Leverkusen aimed to play defensive splitting passes between the channels for a player to run onto and cut back into the box while having bodies inside the box. And that's Leverkusen in possession when they are transitioning. Xavi Alonso has made transitions crucial to buying Leverkusen's game plan. They are well known for their ability to execute them, especially when attacking transitions. Their willingness to build up play centrally enables them to counter press effectively when they lose the ball. But when Leverkusen regains possession, they use their speed to launch a devastating counter attack. This is one of their biggest strengths and their players often carry the ball forward to get closer to the opponent's goal. Leverkusen off the ball defensively, they press in a mid to high block. They don't press overly aggressive in their settled defensive shape whilst defending in their 5-4-1 formation. They plan to force the opposition into wide areas by staying narrow during the first line of pressure. Then they will step up as a team once they force you out wide and apply a more aggressive press, occasionally being able to have a defensive overload. So that's what I took when analysing Xavi Alonso's game, but how does that look in Football Manager? So here we are in Football Manager. If you're new and you haven't yet, make sure you are subscribed, but also if you haven't yet, like this video liking this video is very very important we're going to do things a little differently today we are going to break down the tactic in football manager but we aren't going to be doing a results section of this video i have noticed when looking back and analyzing my own videos some of you guys don't even get to that part the video retention can improve in my video so i am trying to improve that and one way is to eliminate that uh, results section part of the video but now let's break down this buying leverkusen tactic as usual on the bottom left of the screen we are going to have the players uh position map the heat map from their most recent game i think uh i think leverkusen won 5-1 in their last game I believe so. Anyway, very good game. Very good game. In goal, we are using a standard, a big standard goalkeeper in goal. We are going to be lined up with the back three. Of course, the formation is the 3-4-2-1, similar to Inter Milan, but they use a 3-4-3 mainly with two wingers. And then Leverkusen have two attacker midfielders. We have a back three. The left side of back three will be a ball playing uh, defender on defensive duty. The man in the middle is going to be a central defender on defense. And then on the right hand side, we've got the wide center back on support he's gonna push further forward and help also push fringpong further up where fringpong can be dangerous with his runs in behind 
For the Granite Xhaka role, so the Granite Xhaka role, we're going to start him off on the left hand side. He's going to be our deep line playmaker on support. Interestingly, intriguingly, we are going to be using two playmakers in our double pivot. So for Granite Xhaka, he's going to be holding his position, dictating play for us. And then from Palacios, he's going to be our register. Someone that's got way more freedom with his movement. And as you saw in the analysis, he actually shifts over to the left hand side a little bit like this. If we can get him over there. Actually, we'll just put Xhaka in the middle. We'll put Palacios on the left. And then the right side of the centre-back will move further forward. And that's kind of how uh, Leverkusen will look in their build-up shape. The wing-backs are very important to the system. They hold the width. So for Grimaldo, we are going to be using a wing-back on support. For Fringpon, we're going to be using a complete wing-back on support, giving him more attacking uh, responsibility more freedom as well he will be roaming from his position as the complete wing back role says right here so that's kind of our deeper players wing back on support on the left deep line playmaker register and then the complete wing back on the right hand side Moving into the attacking three, not much changes actually at this top three here. So attacking midfielder on support is what we are going to keep. For Florian Verts, we are also using attacking midfielder on support. For these two midfielders, I just want them floating around in between the opposition's line. And especially on the right hand side, we need them to drop deep and allow Fringpong to make that attacking movement and then we can create our counter movement. Lastly, up top for Bunnyface, we are going to be using the advanced forward and that there are the player roles we are going to be looking at the player instructions after the team instructions time for setting that style of play for the attacking width we're going to bang that all the way to narrow we want the ball in the middle in the central areas of the pitch when we are building out from the back passing directness on shorter tempo on slightly higher focus our attacks through the middle as well it's all about the attacking to, uh, through the central areas and getting our box midfielder to move about and create havoc for the opposition we are also going to pass the ball into the space and once we get into that sort of finishing phase get the ball out through those channels play those defensive splitting passes through the channels if the wing back is on the end of the ball i want him to cross early grimaldo actually got 25 assists three point got 14 and yeah the same on the left hand side the wing back early cross assist even the attacking midfielders if they move through the channel once they get down towards that byline i want them to be hitting a early cross Moving along into the transition is fairly simple. When possession has been lost, we are going to counter press, try and regain possession as soon as possible. And when possession has been won, devastating counter attacks is crucial to Leverkusen's game. So that is what we are going to attempt. And we're just going to distribute the ball quickly and to our centre backs. Lastly, out of possession, we're going to step up our defence line by one. We are also going to operate in a high press. The trigger press slightly or more often prevent that short goalkeeper distribution. Another key uh, component of Leverkusen's game off the ball is trapping the opponent out wide. And like we said in the analysis as well, once we can uh, trap them out wide, we then step up and press a little bit more aggressively. And that there wraps up the Xavi Alonso tactics so now I will click on the completed version it's literally the exact same but now we've got some player instructions that avant forward he's going to be dribbling more the two um number 10s they're going to be roaming from the position left hand side Florian Verts will be dribbling more tackling harder and then on the right hand side where Hoffman played just tackling harder Defensive midfielders tackle harder, mark tighter on both of them. The wing back, the left back has dribble more, tackle harder. And the right hand side as well, dribble more, tackle harder. As, as I said in the analysis, the players like to bring the ball forward closer to the opponent's goal, which is why we have dribble more. And a tackle harder for me is a bit of a football manager thing. Just get my players engaged off the ball. I'm not sure if any of you watched the Champions League final in my last video but there was a moment where Arsenal attacked and my players were just standing there just standing up allowing them to attack us which I didn't like the ball playing defender also has dribble more and so does the right side of the centre back cross less often and dribble more as usual we have a version when you are playing away from home against those tougher teams by Munich Leverkusen now let's actually go to the schedule because I say that when we played Bayern, <laughs> Bayern Munich, we played them away twice in a row. We lost 5-2 in the Bundesliga and we lost 4-0 in the DFB 
puck out. We do have some high scoring games. We beat Hayden in 7 1, Bookham 6 0. I was going to say Benfica 5 2, but that was in a friendly. We even beat Darmstadt 4 2 at home. So, what happens when you play against those type of teams away from home? This is what it looks like in possession. We have removed focus through the middle in transition. We have removed counter press, and I believe that is just about it. Remove counter press and remove the focus through the middle. Oh, the attacking width, we've not sold so narrow we're now fairly narrow but unfortunately that wraps up today's video don't forget if you want to see the results make sure you head over to the website where you download the tactic as well shout out to all my patrons currently i really really appreciate the support and don't forget if you have enjoyed this video to make sure you are subscribed like this video if you haven't i will see you guys soon make sure you keep those manager requests those tactic requests coming in the comment section thank you for this one i'll see you guys soon stay safe god bless peace out